Welcome back to the channel guys. Today what we're going to do is a couple things to the white single cab and uh, really uh, just to make you aware that the reason we're going to do some of these things is because I'm going to start tearing the crew cab down to get ready to paint it. So I want the single cab to be fully functional, ready to go, everything works so that it, if I need a truck while the crew cab's torn down for paint that I can use that. So uh, we got a couple things we need to do to it and I'll show you what I got in the back of the truck that we're gonna do right now. So yesterday the family and I drove, took about a two hour road trip, drove up and picked up this bumper and this tailgate. The guy was asking 45 bucks for the pair. Um, actually, he was the, his ad was just a bed that was completely beat up and he was asking 350 bucks for it. So just on a whim, I texted him and said you don't have to have a tailgate and a bumper do you and uh he wrote back and was like yeah i actually do and i thought he was going to throw out some outrageous number because the bed was way overpriced and he said 45 bucks so the tailgate's not perfect i'll show you that in a minute i don't even know if the latch mechanism works i really like the stamp styled tailgate uh, and this bumper it's in good shape it's got a little bit of rust here and there i'm going to throw it on the single cab right now um, but I want to actually keep an eye out for a stock chrome bumper for that truck. Uh, the front bumper on that truck's immaculate. The grill's immaculate. It's all chrome. So I kind of want to match it. But for now, we'll throw this one on there um, and throw this tailgate on there as well. And then we'll start tearing down the crew cab for paint here in the next week. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to uh, install these and then I'm going to work on installing the switches for the transmission as well. So let's get to it. So let me show you, here's the worst part of it. Uh, that dent right there and a couple right here. Um, and besides that, the lip is pretty clean. Got some surface rust on it, but I don't even know if that dent can be pulled actually, but we'll see.
All right, there we go. So it is installed, fit really nice. The only issue was this part right here is bent down just a little and the ball is resting right on the hitch. Not a big deal, I'll probably try and heat it up and bend it back. But for such a cheap find, I'll take it. So now let's do the tailgate. All right, so there it is. Got the tailgate and the bumper on. The tailgate needs a little work uh, in order to open it. And this is how my crew cab one is as well. You gotta pull the handle and lift up on this little cab right here. But it shuts and it stays closed. So there it is with that new tailgate on. Comment down below if you like the uh, blue with the white. Um, We'll probably sand it down and prime it and paint it here eventually after we paint the crew cab. But comment below if you're liking the, how this white truck is coming along. And now the next thing I'm going to tackle is uh, hooking up the switches for the overdrive and the lockup on this transmission. So this is something, if you've got an automatic transmission, even if it's not a 47RH, you can hook up the overdrive on a switch like I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to look down at the wiring harness and see where I need to tap into and we'll get that all taken care of. I've actually got all the switches. I'll show you. So the lockup is already on a switch and it's on this exact switch. So I just grabbed from the store the same switch to put overdrive just right next to it. So I'll show you exactly where that's at. So this is the lockup switch right here to lock up the torque converter. So I'm going to mount another switch right next to it. Same style switch for the overdrive. So that way you can flip on the overdrive and then flip on the lockup when you want it. So I'm going to drill just a little hole right here. And I'll show you guys running the wires. It's pretty straightforward, but I'll show you guys that and then we'll hook up the switch and take it for a test drive and see. I actually just, just to make sure the lockup switch worked, I just took it for a test drive real quick. Um, and the lockup switch does work pretty consistently. It's definitely the overdrive that it's just not kicking in when it's supposed to. So um, I think it'll be nice to have the overdrive on a switch so it's just a little more consistent and more reliable. So I'll install that and show you guys what it looks like, then we'll go for a test drive. All right, let me show you. So there's the switch installed. So this is overdrive, lockup. Um, I will explain to you how I did it, probably more using diagrams and a little bit of voiceover, uh, just because getting any good camera angles down where I was trying to tap into the wire was pretty difficult um, but it was very very straightforward so down you can see that green and black wire right here so the green one is coming off of lockup and the black ones coming off of overdrive and I'll tell you I'll put up a picture here in a minute and show you how to tap into that so first let's go take it for a test drive moment of truth see if it actually will shift into overdrive with the switch and then shift into lockup with the switch so
All right, here we go. We'll have to drive out to the road that's pretty close by that we can get up to speed with this. stop sign okay so we're in first second third and overdrive so that worked really well that's much better it, it was not switching into overdrive with just the TPS so that's good. I'm excited to have it be reliable and be able to get up to higher speeds because when it wouldn't shift into overdrive, even when it was locked up, uh, it wouldn't go more than 65 or so. Alrighty, so let's head back to the house and I will show you guys how I did this and uh, I'll, I'll probably use some diagrams and pictures of the plugs because it's going to be a little bit different for if you've got a 518 compared to a 47 RH and a 518 by that I mean a 46 RH uh, so no lockup torque converter so basically you would just put your overdrive on a switch and you wouldn't have two switches like I do so all right let's check this out when we pull into the driveway I'll catch up with you guys then all right, so uh, to show you this on a 47RH, I'm actually just going to walk over. I've got 47RH sitting right here on this pallet. So on the top of the transmission, this is standing up like this. So, you know, the pan is down here. On the top portion, there's a plug right here, okay? Now on a 47RH see if we can get it to focus in there kind of there's three prongs I only see two on this video but there are three prongs in there one's just dirty on your 46 RH there's just gonna be two prongs so on the 47 RH the front prong is for the overdrive ground the middle prong is 12 volt power and the back prong is for the lockup ground so on your 46RH, there'll be two prongs. One, the front one is going to be for the overdrive ground, and the back one is going to be for the 12-volt uh, power. So all you do to hook up that switch is uh, find the front wire, and you just basically follow it and trace it. And let's go back to my truck. So that plug is up it's kind of hard to see but it's up here and it goes into the top of the transmission see if i can get a view yeah you can see it so that goes to that plug so what i did was followed the harness out it's this left harness and then as it came here 
I opened it up and found the correct color wire and snipped it and then ran, connected my new wire to the pigtail end of that that I snipped and ran that up, ran that up here and that's this black wire. So I ran it through the firewall and my switch was a two pin switch. So I ran it through the firewall, brought it under here. Let's see, it is right here, right there. Made that go to one prong of the switch. And then the other prong, I just brought one wire off and ran it under and grounded it to right here. Okay, so that's all there is to it. One. One wire for the pin on the switch will be what you cut from the pigtail. Comes up through the engine compartment, through the firewall, to the switch. The other prong will be just a ground, and you just ground it, you know, any spot you have a ground. I found that to be the easiest spot. So like I said, if you've got a 46RH, you could do this just for your overdrive. Um, but if you've got a 47RH, you could do overdrive and lockup. So good. Um, that's what I wanted to get done on this truck today. We got the tailgate on and the bumper on. I uh, got the transmission working better. I ordered the springs for the front. So we're going to be replacing those springs next week. And then we're tearing down the crew cab for paint. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, should be a fun project with painting the crew cab. It's something that a lot of people that know me and have kind of followed my truck for the past couple of years uh, have been really prodding me and trying to get me to do it. So it's finally going to happen. Um, it's not going to be a professional job. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to learn as I go um, and we're going to see how it turns out. So thanks again. Like this video if you enjoyed this and we'll see you guys in the next video.